And let's now create a new product. So let's name it um, glasses. And the description is sun glass. And we upload an image, just click on upload image and I'm gonna upload an image, for example, this one. And the type min and the value is $20, for example. Now click on submit and we've got an error and the error is that inside the form, again, we have this error, which is the URL. The URL should be send, send create product form. I'm gonna copy it and over there I'm gonna paste it because this is the, the URL that's gonna handle the process because it's so crucial that you differentiate between the URL that's gonna just show you the, the form and the URL that's gonna handle the process of sending data to our database. And save and get back and refresh. And this should be glasses again, glasses and the image. This one, for example, the type men, the price $20, submit. And there you go. Now, if you, uh, if you get to the bottom, you're, you should see the image. But again, we have here an error. And the error is obvious here with the image. But what I want you to notice is that the name of the image now is equal to the name of the product. So the name of the product is glasses. The name of the image is glasses. So the error is obvious now because you know, the, the image does not show up, but other images show up. So the error is that if you get to our storage now and open the product images, you will not see the image uploaded yet. So the error was not with displaying the image, the error with, with, was with uploading it. So the, the server failed to upload our image. And actually, there are two errors inside our uh, update, inside our upload uh, image. The first one is the location we uploaded the image. As you can see, it has been uploaded, but inside our storage, but not inside our public, not inside our product images. So we need here to add, here we need to add the product images and concatenated with this. Um, with this name, the name of the image. Don't forget the forward slash. And the second error is the content. This one refers to the encoded form of the image. So if this was a text, like the example with the Laravel, with the Laravel documentation, as you can see, it says the file.txt and the content is a text. So here it passed a text with along with the file name but we what we would like to pass here is the encoded version of the image so remember when we updated the image is the request and then the image which this this is the encoded form of the image and then we call the store uh, store as function on the encoded form of the image to store it as inside this folder so what we need to pass inside our store or storage desk and the input function instead of the contents is the is the request and then image. But that also wouldn't work. We need to use the file class. So I'm gonna here again type the file file and then we we import this one illuminate support this one and we call the get function and what we pass is this one this time so if we pass the request image that wouldn't work we need first to use the file class to encode the image we uh, to encode the image so that it, it gets passed to our server and i'm going to store this to a variable called image encoded now this is the encoded form of the image i'm going to pass it here image encoded so now this is the encoded form of the image and this is the image name that we want uh, to have so again to sum up 
uh, you you need to first of all you need to have the exact location the correct location of storing the image with the image name that you want to save the image to so the correct location is the public folder inside inside the storage because it knows that it's inside the storage and then inside the public folder and then inside product images and the image name we well, that we have created using the extension and the name from the name of the product and finally the encoded form of the image so you need to encode the image using this line of code which is file and then get and then the get the file which is this time is an image and pass it here with the uh, with the um, put function and if you would like to use the old method which is store as you are good to go as well this one works and i think this one is easier because you don't have to get through all um, of this headache but both will work now and don't forget to import the image the file uh, class so we need to to um, to import this so here i'm gonna copy this uh, line of code and down below i'm gonna paste it over there and change this to file because this is the package where the file uh, the file class exists and save and let's try a new product insert and sun glasses sun glasses image and 23 submit and there you go the image has been uploaded and if you get back to our project you will find that inside our products image uh, images inside the public inside the storage we have the sunglasses.jpg and why uh, it was named sunglasses because the name of the product is called sunglasses let's now work on deleting a product so that when you click on this remove button it's going to remove this product from your database first of all get to your project and you need to create a route for the deletion and it's going to be a get request i'm going to, I'm going to just copy this one and paste it here down below and i change what needs to be changed the first thing that we need to change is the url which which should be admin delete product and we pass the id of the product that we want to delete from the database and the function should be delete product and the name of the url could be admin delete product secondly we need to get to the admin products controller and create this function and we pass the id of the product that we want to delete its data we first get the product from the product model we use the find and we pass the id and we store the result inside a product variable and to remove the record from the database we simply use the same model product and then we use a function called destroy destroy and we pass the id of that product and this single line of code will delete the record from the database permanently but what about deleting the image from our project from our server this is why i used this line of code and this line of code will handle deleting the image and we obviously create we obviously deleted an image before when we wanted to update the product when we wanted to update the image remember edit product image we checked if the image exists or not if it exists then we delete the previous one using this function the delete function and then replace it with a new one so here we are going to just use this line of code to delete the previous image from our server so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy this part and inside our delete function i'm going to paste it so here this line of code is going to check if the product image exists or not and store the result here true or false if the the image exists then it's going to delete it using this function and it's going to access the public folder and then the product images 
and pass the the name of the uh, image and it's going to delete this file from the product uh, images directory and this line of code obviously will delete from will delete the record from the database so it's kind of two parts the first part is deleting the image the second part is the, is deleting the record from the database and finally we need to redirect to the admin panel again so to redirect to, to the admin panel I'm going to use the return and, and then redirect and then root and then we pass the name of the root which display which is display or, or admin display products and don't forget the return and remember the view that we have created for the delete no longer necessary for now for for having this view because we will never access this view and we will never do something with the delete view and finally we need to add this url to the button to the remove button so that when you click on this remove button it works so we need to access the again the display products dot blade and add this url to the button remember this button the remove button here we need to add the root and the root should be double starts with double braces and the root and then we pass the name of the root that we want to access and obviously the one that is going to handle the deletion process is the is this one admin delete product i'm going to copy it and inside the display products i'm going to paste it and we pass the id along with the url i'm going to just copy this line of code and save now this button should work if i click on the remove button and also don't forget the public we forgot here to add the public public and then the and then the uh, location and then the folder of our products so here this should be public public so this should be public i'm going to get back to our project and i'm going to refresh and suppose we want to delete this and remember the image name should be sunglasses if i open again my if I open again our project, you will find that the image name is called sunglasses. And if I click on remove, as you can see, the, the record was removed for, from our database. But what about the image? Let's get back to our project and check if the, image, if the image was deleted or not. And there you go. The image does not exist anymore. The image was removed from our project. So this is how to delete the image. You need to specify the complete path to the folder. In this tutorial, I'm going to conclude the, the four important functions inside the storage class and how to use them perfectly. Because there, there has been quite uh, confusion when using these when we created the, uh, the admin, the update product image and the edit product image and uh, there was some confusion where uh, how to use the complete uh, you are how to use the complete your url to access the image so here i created for inside the web i created just uh, a url for testing the storage and i named it test the storage and here are the four functions so let's test the first one the first one is simply going to return the uh, going to return an, an image from our database from our uh, server and as you can see i just specified the storage and then the the folder that contains the image and then the image name and remember here i did not type public here i just accessed the storage and then the url and when using this function when using the url you don't have to specify uh, the public. You don't have here to type uh, public, right? Just type the folder inside the public, in, inside the storage, inside the um, inside the public. So when you type URL, it knows that you are inside the public and you you are inside the storage. Just type the location inside the storage folder that is inside the public. And if we run that now test storage hit enter as you can see we now have the image so you don't have to type public when you use the url now let's get to the second 
uh, function. It's the same, but what we did here is just we specify the local fol folder, so it's going to do exactly the same. It knows that you are inside the public and you are inside the storage. Just type the folder and then the image. So the folder is public images and the image name is, ja uh, is jacket. Now if I save, here I did not specify an image, so it's going to return the URL in, in the text form. Let's now save and test. If I, if I now refresh, as you can see, it says storage and then product images and then jacket.jpg because it knows that you are inside the storage and then you are inside the public uh, underscore images and then it gets you this image. Now let's test the third function, which is, which is the exists. And this function actually is going to test whether an image exists or not. And guess what? When using the exists, you need to specify the public folder. If I just run this now, let's save and run, it's going to return nothing, which means false. There is no specific there is no such image inside our server because we did not specify the public. When you use the storage and then disk and then the exists, you need to type here public and then slash and then product images because it doesn't know exactly the URL. When using the exists, you need to type the complete URL. So the complete URL is public inside the storage, not inside the, this public. So it accesses this storage folder, and then this public folder, and then this product images. So there is a big difference between using the URL and using the exists. When using the exists, it does go to the local folder, the local storage, which is this one, not the, the storage inside the public. So there is a big difference. It goes to the storage, this one, the, the local, and then goes to the public and then to this folder and then the jacket image and let's now save and refresh and it's going to return one as you can see which means that the image exists true and finally i'm going to test the delete image and the delete image actually is going to delete an image from our uh, from our server remove the image from our server and here I'm going to re re uh, replace this with, with the jacket, jacket image dot jpg. And like before, like the, the exists, you need to specify the public inside the storage because it's not going to delete the image from the public. It's, it's not, it's going to, uh, instead, it's going to delete the image from the storage and then public and then, uh, and then product images. Because remember, the public folder is uh, the, the storage folder that is inside the public folder is just a copy of the original one, which is the, which is the storage, public, and then product images. So when you use the delete, you need to specify the, the public. And, and, and I'm going to show you by deleting the image, uh, by, delete, by deleting the public, if I delete the public, and just run this uh, function. Let's save and refresh. It's not going to delete anything. And if I get back, as you can see, the jacket image still exists. But if I specify the public here, and then slash, and then save, and refresh, and get back to our uh, project, as you can see now, the jacket image was deleted from our server. So when you use the, in conclusion, when you use the delete or the exists, you need to specify the public because it goes to the public, because it goes these, to the storage folder, not to the public folder. But when you use the URL or disk, then URL, you just type the folder inside the uh, inside the storage that is inside the public because it accesses the public folder.